Hi, everybody. Um, to put a name to a more current face, my name is Austin. Um, I'm going to be your instructor for the summer semester for English 1301. Welcome to the class. Um, like I mentioned in my email out to you all earlier today, uh, I am going to try to start posting videos surrounding course materials and any larger ideas or concepts coming up with upcoming assignments. Um, so I figured for our first video, kind of to fall into an introduction to the class, I wanted to take a look at the syllabus, kind of walk through some important um, some important details as well as any other kind of supplemental information that I think will help guide your understanding to the expectations for this course. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen for you all. Okay, so if everything works out, hopefully you can see our course homepage for our Blackboard. Um, pretty standard stuff. If you ever feel like downloading the syllabus, taking a deeper dive into it, you can find it as a second option to click on the left hand side menu, syllabus and course policies. It immediately opens up here for you to view as well as to download. Um, but for the purposes of this video, if I can get to it, I've already opened it up in a new little window for us to look at. Um, so here it is in all its glory. This is our syllabus for our course this semester. Um, we are in section D02. We're an asynchronous class, which means we don't have any standard meeting times. Your instructor is me. Hello again, <laughs> I'm Austin. Um, emails below that, as well as my physical office number. But again, since we're not having any physical meetings in person, I am going to be teaching you all from the comfort of my own home. Um, I will be meeting with you all from the comfort of my own home. Again, if you do need to meet with me in person, email is there if you want to set up time. Um, of course, because office hours are mainly going to be by appointment this semester. Um, I'm going to just as a precautionary warning, I'm going to skim through some of this stuff um, just because most of it you can read on your own. And again, I'm just going to touch on some larger issues. First one being the course description. I figured it would be best to get it out there for you all just so you can hear me state it um, and not be so confused. Um, OK, so let's go ahead into that. This course is designed to ground first year students um, in the reading, writing, and rhetorical demands and practices necessary for engaging in civic discourse and for success in college and beyond. This class teaches students, you all, to be both critical readers of complex texts and critical writers and creators of effective texts. This course assumes that the key to critical reading and effective writing is rhetorical knowledge. Um, rhetoric is foundational for this course because it helps you to understand how other people's texts work and have effects on audiences and helps you to compose effective and purposeful texts yourself. So it's all about ingesting purposeful texts and effective texts and their arguments so that you can create your own and kind of understand how arguments work in a, like, a higher, academic, higher academia sense of things. Um, rhetorical knowledge prepares you to participate in and respond to a variety of writing situations whether it be in public arenas, professional settings, personal situations, or future college courses. Um, this course teaches you how to identify other writers' choices and how to make your own choices across a variety of writing situations. So along with understanding how other people craft their arguments, what they're saying in their arguments, and whether or not their arguments are effective, you're seeing what specific elements kind of go into this whole idea of rhetoric and what their purposes are in the sense of the kind of area that they're displayed in. In the case of our class, it's mainly going to be textual. We're gonna be looking at mainly videos and articles where people are presenting their own arguments and kind of getting a sense of how to digest those arguments, see if they're effective for their audience or not, and what big ideas they're trying to convey. Um, okay, let's move on. I mentioned it's an online class, goes into the asynchronous idea. Again, this is not a in-person meeting class, but we do have a schedule set up for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where ex, um, assignments and activities are due, needed to be done, um, and as well as just looking at resources for that week. Um, hopefully, 
if I keep up with the regular schedule, videos will be one of them. Uh, <laughs> but let's move on. Um, the next thing that the syllabus addresses is student learning outcomes. These are pretty straightforward. Goes over the college level competency uh, objectives, Texas higher ed objectives, our course specific writing goals. Of course, I'll let you have a chance to look at these on your own. I'm just gonna name off the big categories that we're gonna cover. So essentials of college rhetoric, the first kind of group of writing goals that we want you to achieve are rhetorical knowledge um, or relate to rhetorical knowledge, excuse me. Um, the next big chunk is inquiry and research. Um, we're going to learn in this class that in order to make effective arguments, you're going to have to have information and evidence, which is going to be a key word um, to back up your thoughts and your claims. So that's where the inquiry and research kind of goals come into play. And then finally, writing processes and craft. This collection of course goals mainly deals with um, drafting and revising, as well as peer feedback, and you all will get a lot of chances to do that as the semester goes on. It's going to be exciting. Um, let's continue on. Required materials for this class. Biggest one, the textbook. We're going to need that <laughs> because uh, we have assigned readings from the textbook itself that will definitely help moving into discussions as well as activities. Um, and especially in the larger grand scheme of the actual assignments that are due in class. So I would definitely recommend that you get it. Blackboard, also a pretty big resource that you're going to need. That's where everything and anything is going to be posted. Um, assignment prompts, grades, links to videos, even our articles that we need to read for upcoming papers and whatnot. So it's important to have that. Microsoft Office, um, mainly in the sense that you need Microsoft Word because that is where you're going to be mainly writing your papers to turn in. Um, your TTU email does provide access to uh, Microsoft Office via OneDrive. Um, if you need any help kind of navigating that area, go ahead and let me know and I can show you, no problem. Um, next thing that you're gonna need is a Zoom account. Um, that is mainly for the sense of meeting with me for conferences as well as office hours if you need to hop in for a meeting real quick. Um, other kind of pieces of technology that you'll need, not really necessary, um, is a webcam, microphone, and headphones for joining class. When or if we meet online, we're, we're not going to be meeting as a class online, just for clarification. Again, the technological stuff is mainly for Zoom um, conferences and any office hours should you need to meet with me. Um, next piece is electronic storage media to hold copies of all your work completed and submitted for the course. Simplest piece of technology that can relate to that is a USB drive. Um, just to avoid any hiccups, it's always best to have a USB drive or some kind of electronic storage device like OneDrive, um, just in case your computer um, decides to conk out in the middle of an assignment and you need to access it. Um, OneDrive is really good. USB drives are also excellent. Um, last, but probably the most important, is access to a computer with internet capabilities, mainly so you can access Blackboard, access the textbook, access your email, um, as well as access Zoom in case you need to meet with me. So pretty straightforward stuff, right? OK. <laughs> We're going to go on to the next big bit, um, assignments and grades. I figured it would be best to be transparent with you in the sense of covering this for the video. Um, so here is our, of course, layout for how everything is calculated. Your first big project, your mediated values essay coming up in a couple weeks is worth 10%, which is followed by your summary and synthesis essay with writer's memo, um, is 15%, followed by your rhetorical analysis, which is the heavier assignment of the class um, in terms of weight is 25%. Don't freak out. We're going to be talking a lot about what goes into that essay, what's kind of expected. Um, and again, I'm here if you need any help. So don't worry about that. <laughs> our last big project of the class is our final self-assessment essay, um, which is only 10%. The two kind of in-class pieces of work that are weighted is our discussion forum posts, which is 25%. That carries a bit of a hefty weight too, mainly because you'll be making initial posts as well as responding to your peers, which you have been doing already, which is excellent. Um, 
And then next is process work. Um, it's mainly going to be through the form of submitting rough drafts and peer feedback. Um, you'll see as we move on into the semester, there's going to be peer feedback activities as well as a chance for you to submit your drafts for feedback, which is required, but it's also good because then you'll be getting help on your essays. So that's why it's a weighted part of the grade. <laughs> um, following that is just a general rubric of kind of what's expected in terms of, well, not really what's expected, but what's going to result in what kind of grade. So that's there for you to peruse um, only because I wanna keep this super brief for y'all. Um, due dates and late penalties. Largest thing is that please turn your work in on time. Um, late major projects are gonna receive a letter grade penalty. So again, please make sure that everything is turned in on time. Back up your electronic files via USB or OneDrive. Kind of take um take the extra step to make sure that all your bases are loaded and everything is covered and safe. Um, policy surrounding incomplete work, attendance. Um, because this is an online course, we're not taking any formal attendance. However, your participation is definitely expected because of all the assignments relating to it. So please make sure to stay on top of things. Um, again, if you have any kind of questions or need any more clarification, let me know. Um, of course, observances of religious holy days will be excused for intensive in terms of absences, um, in terms of submitting work. There will be a bit of leeway if you need to observe a religious holiday or if you're on university business or university sponsored trips, if you are a student athlete or on a, um, team of some sort sponsored by the university again um just let me know <laughs> if you decide to observe a religious holiday or if you're taking a trip for a team that you are a part of let me know otherwise as well as if you are not like feeling well or something has come up let me know i'm fairly i'm fairly lenient in the sense of hey i'm not feeling well here's what's going on okay you can have a day or two to turn an assignment and that's fine. Bottom line, please just let me know. <laughs> I'd like to stay in the loop of what's going on. Um, so any confusion can be avoided. Um, class conduct stuff, academic integrity, plagiarism. This is a writing course. Plagiarism is definitely a thing. Self plagiarism is definitely a thing. Please make sure you are making original thoughts and original claims and not directly copying somebody else's work without proper quoting and citation. Um, we'll get into the finite pieces of citations later on in the semester, but please make sure, bottom line, um, academic penalties can result in terms of plagiarism. You could be meeting with student conduct, which is not great. So please make sure you are doing your own work <laughs> in, in the long run. Um, digital correspondence. Next big issue, kind of like I mentioned in the attendance um, area discussion of the syllabus, please email me. That is the best way for you to reach me. Um, I am just as a just to put it out there, I'm going to try to not respond to emails after 10 p.m. Uh, just because I have coursework of my own that I need to complete, as well as a family outside of class that I'd like to spend some time with in the evenings. Um, but please expect the reasonable turnaround time. If you email me at like eight o'clock on a Saturday, I will most likely get back to you within the hour, if not in the later hour. Um, if I don't get back to you as quick, please forgive me. Please allow some time, but I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Um, next big thing is accommodations. Um, if you have any documentation with student disability services, or need um, advice on how to get um, accommodations, please meet with me. Please let me know. I'm here to help you. I'm here to make sure that your course experience in terms of English 1301 is as smooth and as um, comfortable as possible, for lack of a better word. I want to make sure that your experience in this class is good. So <laughs> please let me know. If you have accommodations or if you need accommodations, I will be sure to get in contact with people who can help you. Um, some final resources for discrimination, harassment, sexual violence, um, student counseling center, 
Our crisis helpline is also very good. Um, our Voice of Hope in Lubbock. Um, the RISE office, which is the Risk Intervention Safety and Education office, is also very nice. And then finally, our Texas Tech Police Department. There, I mean, most of us are off campus during the summer, so there's not much that Texas Tech is going to be doing in terms of stuff for um, the police department, but they're always a good resource to have. Um, the final thing is LGBTQIA plus support statement. Can let you read that on your own. Main thing is, is that there are people, there are different people with different identities, um, different sexualities, different gender identities within this class. Please treat them with respect. And I'm very certain that they will treat you with respect. So, <laughs> um, okay. Final big piece of information um, relates to one last resource on campus um, called the Writing Center of Texas Tech. Um, mainly in the sense of the Undergraduate Writing Center. Um, the link to make appointments and visiting for consultations is found here, as well as their phone number if you want to get into contact with them. They have an ability for you to submit papers for um, you to get feedback on without going into the office physically. So please be sure to check out their website if you're interested. Um, other than that, I'll just do a quick run through of the web page because that was basically all of the syllabus. Very short and simple, right? Um, you're going to be able to access everything in this course via the left hand menu seen here with my cursor. Um, go back to the home page. Pretty much are welcome. How to contact me, stuff that's kind of in the syllabus. Announcements. You've already received a couple from me, mainly detailing a welcome to the course as well as one detailing, hey, I'm going to be posting videos, so be on the lookout for those. Um, course questions and answers. If you don't want to email me, this is our next best place for you to ask questions and get some answers. Um, your fellow classmates might have answers for you as well as me, so feel free to post in there. Um, introduction to the course, pretty straightforward. Going to go over there. You all already know how this schedule was kind of set up. There's our date, read, watch, listen, assignments due, pretty straightforward. Introduction to myself again, hello. Um, if you want to access the syllabus in a different way as opposed to clicking on the left-hand menu for finding it there, it is also right here, right below the introduction, um, as well as expectations for the discussion forum, which I encourage you to read, as well as for process work. Um, another big document, that I would suggest you all download so that you can coordinate your schedules with my schedule is the course schedule. Um, every date that we have stuff due or are working on is in this schedule. Um, so it is very important for you to have. <laughs> um, last big piece is just steps towards purchasing the course textbook. Um, that one's pretty straightforward. Our, our textbook is through Connect. McGraw Hill, um, please get access to it as soon as possible because we have chapter readings coming up very soon. Um, other than that, a majority of our uh, pages in the sense of Blackboard will be found on the left-hand menu, mainly paying attention to accessing the textbook, assignment prompts, discussions, and then the gradebook. No grades have been entered yet, so that's not such a big deal, but when they start coming in and you should have questions, the grade book is where you're going to be finding it. Um, the Writing Centers of Texas Tech also has a link in terms of resources, um, as well as on style and citation, which I'll preview in the later coming weeks when citation starts to appear a little bit more frequently. Um, other than that, pretty straightforward. If you do have any questions, again, um, let me exit sharing. Again, please let me know. <laughs> um, I want to, again, make your experience with Essentials of College Rhetoric as effortless and as easy and as engaging as possible because this subject is really interesting to me. And I want to share that kind of excitement with you all because these are some pretty important topics that we're going to be covering. Um, so there's that. If you do have any questions, if you need anything from me, please let me know. Welcome to the course again. Um, I am looking forward to our future discussions, as well as getting into the nitty gritty with all of our assignments and the discussion of rhetoric. So 
with that, I will see you all in our next video. Have a nice rest of your evening or day whenever you're looking at this. Um, see you next time.